Hi everybody, I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree sign and cover up the back, which is actually the front, with some Dollar Tree peel and stick wallpaper. It's stuck to my table. <laughs> I love doing this approach because it's so easy to do and it looks really nice to just finish off the back of your product. Once done, I grab this Dollar Tree calendar. It's this year's. I'm gonna use the Joy page for this. Before I put it down though, I'm gonna paint the surface white just so you cannot see through it and then once it's dry, I put some Mod Podge down on the whole entire surface, and then I put my calendar page down, smooth it out. I know it doesn't fit, but don't worry, I have a plan. And now I'm gonna seal the whole thing in with some more Mod Podge. Once dry, I grab a bag of Dollar Tree Potpourri. This is green potpourri, and I started by doing the same pieces all around the perimeter and before I start filling the rest in with just random pieces. So I just go around the perimeter and then put big globs of glue down and put handfuls of the potpourri down at once. And I am gonna leave some openings because later I'm gonna do something else. Once I get all of my wreath done, I start adding some little sprigs of greenery that I have in my stash. The sprigs are different and I just randomly put them in there, but evenly, if that makes any sense. Um, so I just fill all of that in the way I want to and not too much because I want the potpourri to still show. And I just continue around until I'm done. And then I took some of these glittery balls from Dollar Tree, put couple of those in there and that's it I did add a jute hanger and a cute little bow and isn't this just so cute and different I love it and I hope that you do too don't forget to sprinkle this around and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day bye for now